Item number SCP-1959. Index The Lost Cosmonaut. Object class Euclid. Special containment procedures. As of this writing, SCP-1959 is yet to be contained. All observatories within 50 degrees north and 73.2 degrees south of the equator are to be placed within the Foundation's watch list and amnesia is to be administered to every witness. Should it be captured, a specialized containment unit has been set aside at site. Description SCP-1959 is an unmarked white spacesuit similar in make to Soviet's SK-1 model used in Bostock program with few alterations. The suit itself appears to be indestructible. The helmet's visor is badly damaged and misted over, preventing any observation of its interior. So far, all attempts to communicate with SCP-1959 have failed. The subject is also known to emit considerable amounts of gamma radiation. SCP-1959 appears to continuously orbit around the Earth at a reasonably constant speed. Subject's position can vary between low to high Earth orbit at any given moment. SCP-1959 will ram through any obstacle it encounters, causing grave structural damage. While the subject is capable of independent movement, it remains motionless most of the time. On the occasion the subject does move, its body language shows signs of extreme distress, and it will sometimes make attempts to break its visor. There are recorded instances where SCP-1959 hovered in place for a certain period of time before moving off again. According to observations made to such events, the subject appears to be resisting some unseen force before being pulled away. Addendum 01 SCP-1959 was first observed floating in low Earth orbit by the crew aboard Rejected. on 1971. Observation lasted for three hours before the crew members lost sight of the subject. Addendum 02 After some research on Soviet's space program and declassified files, we have a strong reason to suspect that SCP-1959 is either Alexei, Andrei, or Sergei. Further research is necessary to fully ascertain the identity of SCP-1959. Doctor.